Hello everybody. So last week we did most of Pearl Jam's Better Man, right up to the end of the second chorus. So what I'm going to do today is just show you what happens after the end of the second chorus, which is pretty simple. Uh, we're heading into the outro there. And uh, then I'm going to play the whole song, so you've got something to practice along to. So basically that second chorus, uh, you go through the D, A, G four times. Then you play exactly the same as the first chorus, which means three D A G S. Then you do D A A D D A A. And now comes the new bit. So the new bit is. out into the outro. So obviously the chord we're playing there is G um, and basically there are sort of three parts. First we go so that's a long G, a long G and a short G. Okay. Okay we do that again that's the second part. Cool. And what happens after that is a long stretch where we're going one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so all together that should sound like this. Okay. Just going to do that one more time. One, two. doing that end bit, the one, two, three, four, five, six. There are actually three options for how you can play it. You can play it with those single down strokes like I've just been doing. Six of them in a row. Or you can do a whole lot of little down strokes that'll add up to 16 um, and slowly get louder and louder. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, If you were going to play it that way, the whole piece would sound like this. Like that, so it's a steady increase in volume and it's all just down strokes. Okay, the deluxe version is to combine both those and the downs. So the way to combine those two sounds is just to emphasize um, so that means you're still doing all downs you're still getting louder and louder um, but those six that you would otherwise play singly you're playing them heavier so it would sound like this Um, that's probably a little bit tricky to start with, so you can start by choosing either the or just the. Um, and once you're comfortable playing one or the other or both of those, then you can have a look at trying to combine the two into this one. Um, Okay, so I'll leave you to choose which of those you want to play, um, and I'm just going to run through that second chorus so you can see how it all works. Yeah. Basically, I'm going to do the entire second chorus. When we come out of it, when we do this one, two, three, four, five, six, the next thing is the outro, uh, which is just D, A, and G for ages and ages. Um, yes, yeah, so the second chorus, the whole thing, should sound like this.
you notice after those G's, one, two, three, four, five, six, we went into D, A, G like that, and that is pretty much the entire outro. The outro just goes D, A, G for ages and ages and ages. Okay, so hopefully that explains what you're doing there. You're going from the end of the second chorus into the outro. So uh, for all the other bits of the song, you can look at the previous video. And for now, what I'm going to do is just go from the very start of the song right up to the outro. And um, I'm just going to fade out because we haven't quite got to the end of the song yet. We'll do that at the very end of the song next week. Cool. Okay, here we go. Strummit.